I started to think about getting into more writing and I started writing um, solo stuff. In fact, I've been writing solo stuff on and off sort of all my life really, but um, I started to really concentrate on getting an album together for myself. And I, it was a pop album, uh, sort of, what, adult contemporary type, Radio 2 type stuff. And I did that, uh, that's called Look At Me Now, um, uh, available on iTunes. So I mentioned that, and, and that uh, that album was not not really successful at all. It um, didn't really make the the grade, and I got really frustrated with the fact that I would I've always written in different genres and and styles and everything. So previously, if you bought a Peter Jones album, you'd get a, sort of a country track, a couple of rock tracks, uh, uh, some sort of soul funky type stuff, a couple of ballads, you might even get, uh, I don't know, um, you get all sorts, a bit of boy band stuff or whatever. And I always just like to write whatever occurs to me to write at the time and you can't control that, you can't you can't turn on a, a tap or whatever, so I go with what I, what I think of at the time and I wrote an album of varied styles and stuff which I've always enjoyed. In trying to market my music I was met always with the same reply which made no sense to me now and still makes no sense is that uh, you know we, we can't market you because we don't know what style you're doing or you need to find your sound and all this you need to find your sound so I found it very hard to to justify that and and I was writing all these different songs but people were saying they couldn't find a market for it and they couldn't find the sound and I got very disillusioned because I thought that what I was doing at the time was was pretty good stuff. I mean, it wasn't all great, but some of it was was pretty good. And I was hearing a lot of new stuff coming out uh, from other artists that just seemed to me to be sort of totally devoid, of, you know, totally void of um, um, imagination and originality and stuff. And it seemed like the pop world was disintegrating. And I thought, well, how can I write for this kind of music when I don't know? what the record company's after, I don't know what the, the punter's after anymore, I've, I've no idea what, what's happening to the music industry as, as a whole, so I got very disillusioned about that.